Greetings, this is Sean, and today I'm going to be finishing up the book nook, the lighting and whatnot on the book nook that I started. And instead of doing a library like I had originally planned, it's just going to be this, uh, my bar and my clock and the lamp itself for right now, and I'll be able to change things around as I need to. Anyway, sit back, relax, and enjoy! Okay, what I have here is my lighting. I know it looks kind of crazy, but this part here is an Arduino. It's a small Arduino. It's called a Nano. And I've got two on-off buttons here. Or two uh, momentary switches. This is my lamp, which you'll be able to see the light there. And then this is... Anyway, these are um, fairy lights here. And... Um, uh, I took them off of this battery pack, and instead what I'm going to do is I've hooked them up to this Arduino, and I've got it all uh, programmed, and the way it works is I will put power to it, and after it runs for a little bit, it turns the lights on, you can see the fairy lights are on, and there's the lamp, the lamp being on, let me shut these lights off. So you can see that lamp is on and the fairy lights are on. And what I can do is I can press this button here and that turns and dim, that dims the lights. And the lamp I can turn on and off. So what I'll do is I'll have these light, these switches on the outside of the of the uh, of my book nook and that way I can control the lighting inside the room I can have all the lights on or I can dim them down and I I programmed the lamp to just be either on or off so but what I'm gonna do is take <clears throat> take this battery pack and uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna use the battery pack or not with batteries to power this or I may take I have a an extra USB cord and that I've taken and stripped off the power from it and I may just add this to here instead of using this one and have it hardwired in to that to make it run I haven't decided that yet but anyway that's the circuit now all I have to do now is um, put this onto a actual circuit board which I have circuit boards like this, this has got something on it already, but uh, I can take a circuit board like this and I can put all these components onto it. That way I don't have to, you know, have this on here. This is called a breadboard and that's what you use to set it up to make sure that everything works properly. So anyway, that's going to be what I'm going to do today and I'm going to finish the, finish the lamp as well. Um, so anyway, that's my plan. Okay, so what I've got here is uh, that piece of wood that's at the bottom. That's going to be part of my frame. And the black part that you see there in it is one of the switches that I've already put in. And basically what I did is I just drilled a hole big enough for it to fit in. And then uh, super glue, I'm super gluing them on the back side. That's the back side of, of the frame. And... Um, uh, then what I'll do is I'll attach the wires to that to those switches later on. Uh, I just wanted to get that set up for now. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start taking things off of the breadboard and uh, putting them onto that green circuit board that you see there and then start soldering things in. And this can this is a little tedious, so um, I sped it up so you didn't have to sit through the almost three hours that it took me to do this, <laughs> trying to make sure all the wires go to the right pins and and whatnot. And um, uh, 
uh, whatnot. So, you know, just getting my sponge ready for the soldering while the soldering iron is heating up. And on my computer, I've got a layout of what goes where so I don't, you know, had, so I didn't have to try and remember where everything went. And, uh,. I'm not going to solder all of the pins because I don't need to. I'm, so I'm using my pencil there just to mark uh, which pins I'm gonna, actually going to use. And I'll just solder those ones just to save on some time. So now it's just a matter of putting all the wires. This is Those, the, those wires there are for the fairy lights. And if anybody's interested, uh, leave a comment or send me an email, and I'll be glad to send you a diagram of how I wired this. And if anybody wants wants it, um, I will send the code for the Arduino so they can program it if, they, if anybody wants to try this. Uh, I don't have a problem with that. Uh, but um, it took me a while to try and figure all of this out and piecing together other codes from other things that I made and whatnot to make this work properly. So, anyway, um, probably won't say much here unless something comes up, so enjoy the music for now. Thank you. 
those two wires, the brown and the brown and white wire, um, those are, were going to be for the uh, battery pack to go, and I'm adding them directly to the Arduino for power. However, I don't know what was what happened. I guess this would be, come, be considered an oopsie, but it, not really. Um, it it wouldn't work. I don't know if the batteries were just low. I checked all the batteries, and they seemed to be okay, but. Um, Anyway, I'm, I'm soldering them to the, the board here of the battery pack, which has got a switch on it, and it's got a timer on it. That's what the little black dot on the on the battery pack is. But um, for some reason, it just wouldn't turn on and work when I, when I tried this. And so I end up taking it off and not using it. Um, and actually, at the beginning, I mentioned there was a couple of different ways I was going to do it, and I don't use either way. <laughs> I end up using a uh, a power pack that I have and a USB cable that that you saw that one that's over there on the side that I showed earlier. I, I end up using that with a battery pack to make it work because it doesn't really draw that much power, and uh, so the battery pack would last a long time and it's easily rechargeable and and whatnot. So anyway. working but just not with the battery pack so anyway <clears throat> excuse me what I'm doing here is I'm on my other bench and I stringing out the lights that are going to go around the inside frame inside of the frame and I found something that um, something else that uh, uh, super glue does not stick to and that is straws I've got the bendy straws to kind of hold the wires in place and the super glue just would not stick to it at all so I ended up using Fabri-Tac which worked really well uh, I had to hold it for quite a while to make it work and later on you'll see I actually end up using some brad nails to hold it in place while the <coughs> excuse me while the glue dries but I'm just I cut up a couple of straws um, like I said the bendy type to hold them in place so that they weren't just flapping around and uh, I've got it starting up there in the corner and it comes down and then it goes back up and across and back down and back up and then back across part way and uh, just to have all of the lights there and it, I like the idea of using these straws that actually works pretty good uh, just came to me in a dream so to speak <laughs> but uh, uh, anyway So now I'm going to take the other corner, the other bendy part of the straw, and feed it up across the, across or along the uh, LEDs there, the string of lights. Here's where I go and get the little brad nails to stick into it to hold them in place while they dry, while the glue dries. And I end up taking those out. Now I'm just going to put the frame on 
and um, what I'm doing is I'm, I took the 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 pins on the Arduino are sticking out of the board, and I just push them into the foam board to make a and cut some grooves in to hold it in place. And I actually end up didn't I ended up not even gluing that in because it was such a tight fit that it didn't really need to be glued. I probably will at a later time, but for right now I'm not. And now I'm just basically gluing the frame on. And, um, uh, oops, it's off camera. Sorry about that. Uh, I'm using the fabri -Tac. Oh, no, no, no. I used uh, super glue to glue that in place. And then I've got an extra board, uh, that, there that I'm going to cut to be on the sides. I hadn't cut those yet. And I'm just basically making it to where it, you know, fits inside of the bottom and top frame like that. Okay, now I'm back on my lamp because I didn't finish it and I finally got these connectors and um, I'm going to use these connectors here to f you know, finish up the lamp and I'll also use one half of it will be on the lamp and the other half will be on the uh, um, um, the outlet that's in the book nook itself. So... Anyway, I'm just going to take one of them out, which was a challenge. And if I had realized that, I, I was just hoping to find just the connectors and not with the wire and all that, but if I had known that it was that long, I would have not used the wires that are attached already to the... Uh, of course, I could have undone, un, unsoldered everything, but it, this is just as easy. So anyway, I'm taking the uh, one end of it, and I'm going to test it here in a minute to find out which wire goes to which pin, and uh, that way I know which one's the positive and which one's the negative. Normally when you use those connectors, you don't have to use, worry about polarity because the lights that you're attaching them to um, aren't polarized. But anyway, what I've done is I took a piece of um, uh, number 95 paracord, which is a real thin paracord, and I'm gonna, I am gonna was trying to wrap it around both of the wires at the same time, but they, they don't, they wouldn't fit. And I didn't have any of the big paracord. So anyway, I'm just going to attach or put the uh, the outer part of the 550 cord or the paracord onto each wire. And then I'll glue. I had to cut another piece for the other. And here, if you take this, the center part of it out, that's what the little two wires are or white things are. But I had a hard time getting this one to go on. Uh, it kept snagging on the wire. Anyway, just I can just use the outer sheath for a wire cover, basically, on these. So what I end up doing to help get that onto the wire is I'll take a piece of thin brass tube. I think I end up getting another piece of it, too. It just would not go on there for some reason. Could only get it to go so far and it would stop. So what I did was I'm looking for a piece of brass tube that's thin enough to go inside that paracord, which I found one there. I'm going to put the paracord onto that tube, then I've got to cut the wire or strip the wire down so that I can fit the wire inside because it was about the same size as the tube. 
and then I can use that tube to help slide the uh, paracord onto the wire, just like that. So anyway, now I can um, now I can uh, put or solder the uh, connector onto the wire on the lamp, and I've got some heat shrink tubing that I'm going to put in there. And then I'll take the Fabri-Tac glue and glue the end of it on just so it stays in place and doesn't fray any more than it already has. And I'll just have to do the other side. And then what I end up doing is I end up gluing the two black, you know, paracords together to make one piece of cord, basically. Of course, I've got to glue it to the base as well. So, anyway, that's how I finished up the lamp. And I ended up not liking the way it, it turned out uh, with the paracord after all that was said and done. But uh, it'll work. It serves a purpose. So, anyway, now I'm going to take the other half of that wire, the other part of it, and I'm poking a hole in the center there that you can see, and that will become the outlet that the lamp or anything else that I want to plug into can plug into this for power. So I could have different lamps, or I could even put my radio onto here if I wanted to, that I made. And So, anyway, I'm just gluing it in place so it doesn't move. And uh, I'm going to I end up cutting the wire a little bit shorter to attach to that blue wire that's there. The, I can't tell if it's blue or green. I think it's blue. But uh, I'll just solder that onto there and tape it down. And that'll take care of the outlet for the lamp. So anyway, that's how it works, and I just plug it in. There's my battery pack again, and you can see that the lights are on. The only thing is the lights show through the wooden frame, which eventually I'll paint it, paint it black or something like that, or dark brown or whatnot to hide those lights. But anyway, you can see there that the lights dim, and the lamp turns on and off. So anyway, I will... Uh, that's about it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it, and let me know what you think in the comments below. And as always, have a better day, as I always say.